All right, guys, so I'm inside the dashboard of AI Interactive Books and I recently created one book using it. I gave it a word, I gave it a check and I want to show you exactly how this works. So this is the interface and you start by going to Let's Create. By the way, it does have a reseller version. So you can also include your team members. You can invite your team members and get them in there. Or you can have clients and you can give access to AI interactive books through the client system. So they'll be able to log in and use it on their own. So these are the prime features. These are the agency features. And now let's take a look at the app. So let's click on let's create. And by default, you get started with the AI book. Click on create book and you got three options. The first is the interactive book, which is the main product. It's an interactive book. So you can put in videos and people can actually engage with the book. Then there is the flip book. So you can convert a PDF file into a flip book. So it's just going to be a PDF, but it's going to be presented better. And I will show you that too. And finally, there is the photo bookmaker. And this will let you create books that are made of photographs. Let's check out interactive book. So it, you get started with a keyword and I'm going to put in a keyword like kitchen gardens. Let's say this is the keyword. Click on generate book title and you will get some suggested titles like growing your own, the benefits of kitchen garden, harvesting happiness. So you can see there are some basic book titles in here. And if you want something more expand, uh, more, uh, you know, different or if you want something uh, more uh, targeted you can always change the keyword so if I want to change that I can but let me go with sustainable living the environmental impact of kitchen garden and then you can choose the writing style I think friendly is always good right let's find friendly I saw it earlier but I guess there's no friendly now so informal or casual but you got other options too and you can choose the language that you want to make the book in. You can see it's got a lot of different languages support. So many different languages. I'll go with English. Then, all right, so writing tone is friendly. So I'm going to choose writing style is casual. Writing tone is friendly. And you can decide how many chapters you want. And let's go for eight chapters. And the number of words per chapter, 200 words, pretty good. Click on create book. Just got to wait a little while. It's working. All right. So your book is kind of written already, but you need to select a template. You need to select a cover and then you that then you want to select the template too. So let's go for this one. Pretty cool. Yeah. But there are more. Uh, I actually scrolled it. I didn't show you, show you this time, but I scrolled it and there were a lot of different uh, covers for you to use. Logo. I'm just going to put my name here. All right, so this is kind of done. You can change things. All right, this is done. Now, I didn't do a lot of modifications, but don't forget that everything is in your control. You can put in some content and get AI content. You can make fonts in different styles. You can change different font files, different font, you know, uh, font faces, change colors, change position, change the opacity. Lots of different options in here, right? Even layers and alignment. Plus, you can put in shapes, you can put in images, change backgrounds, click overlay. So if you want to create a custom, uh, so if you want to create a custom cover, well, this app can actually do that for you. Once you're satisfied, click on save design and back color. And then you got to select the back cover too. So here you can put in your photograph. You know, typically that's a good image. I'm going to upload it. Here we go. Resize it a little bit. Okay, so finally I figured it out how to resize. Okay. Change the position, put in your name. change the color
remove that. Put that in here. Okay, so this way you can make a back cover too. Put in details, put in your content. And when you're ready, click on save and next. And then you finally have the index. This is the index of your book. You've got some ready-made designs that you can select from. I'll go for this, choose template. And now the book is kind of uh, populated and ready. You can see all the chapters and put in some line breaks. I think it needs line breaks. So each chapter is a single page. All right, with line breaks, it's definitely looking better, but yeah, a headline chapter name would be something you would, I'm so sure you would like. But then, you know, go through the book, put in the line breaks where you want them. Here we go. Compositing. All right. And then one more water wise. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be loading. Okay, now it the next one loaded. Water wise, okay, loaded. Here we go. Okay, so all right, so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna leave the rest of the pages, but you get the drift. So click on save chapter and come here. I think I think the chapters are automatically saved. Okay, so I think uh, we're ready to go. And you can add more pages too. So if you're ready, you want to add, like right now this chapter has only one page, but if you want to add more, you can click on this plus button all right nothing seems to be happening here mm -hmm. all right that way you can add multiple pages okay so the pages are added and you can go to any page by clicking on it but uh, now when you're here you will need to write text yourself so is there an AI editor here no so you can put in images if you want to you have layers and everything so the image the book can be pretty interesting let me put an image here preview full screen layers and if you click plus you have all these blocks you have all these options so let me go to this page okay this page is completely full let me just take all this text bring it to this page okay yep this is it and paste it all right so that's done and go back to this page let's put in an image click on the plus that will show you the blocks menu so there are a number of options you can put in a youtube video too so let's do that youtube videos are always better right let's move it around a little bit if you can okay so i guess i have to use the enter key to move it yep video mm -hmm. all right and if you click on plus no that's a classes so you just need to click on the settings menu over here select the provider youtube is fine and put in the video id so let's get a video that we have uh, we're doing a live right now for live caster let's embed that Put the ID here. Yeah, you can see the video is now. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And that way you can create your interactive book. Once you're ready, click on save chapter. And you can navigate to chapters like I showed you. Put in your videos, put in your audio, check your background. And finally, once you're ready to go live with the book, click on publish.
all right and you get a qr code you can use the qr code to get people to come to the book or there is the book url that you can share with people and you can embed it in your own website using the embed code so it's got an iframe you can embed it but let's just open it or you can share it i'll just copy it and open it and your audience will get book like this and you can see the video can live people can even click on it open the video in big size HD, something like 2k i'm not sure what the na proper name is but it can live yeah so it can. all right so well the experience isn't bad i think the setup of course uh, takes a little while to create a book but uh, i guess it's not too bad to spend like 15 20 minutes creating your ebook and then getting it out there let's go back and try another book let's create you got two this time let's create a flip book using a pdf file so i need a pdf file from my computer let's see if i have any books that i can use maybe one of these yeah all right so it's being uploaded now will take some time here we go creating now all right so let's read the book and now you can see this entire book is now a flip book so you can turn a pdf file into a nice looking flip book i think this is a great way to distribute your pdfs you can distribute them with a the url people can download it and they will have this beautiful experience so if you got lead magnets if you got uh, things that books that you want to give out ebooks i think it's a great idea to convert it people can zoom in so it's not a problem and they can read very easily move around the book pretty good experience i would say all right now the third thing that's left go back to the dashboard is the is the photo book so i guess for this you need to put in your photographs you need to put in a lot of photographs and i think this is great for catalogs or product shots i'm going to put in just some random photographs and check it right here we go photographs just gonna pick up these all right open create photo book okay read the book so it's got our the photos that you put in in a nice way all right so this is what the photo book feature does and this was the these were the three books that you could create and the bonuses you can see all the bonuses over here there are quite a few so actually these are ebooks you can use them in the software you can make a flip book out of this ebooks and use them and then in the viral book feature click on plus viral book you can choose from any of these templates the viral book feature will actually create a viral book that you can share so let's choose this one with a name of course test and now you have this you can modify whatever you want the, ed the editor of this particular you know, option is quite simple click on save and next and you have to choose one of your books let's use this one like let's choose page number one and you can have the entry animation exit animation publish and activate and now you have a viral book that you can share okay let me see download it okay so it's downloaded in pdf format the entire book has come in pdf all right and edit download share okay so this is the way to make a pdf of your book right with a pop-up okay i get it i get it so this is a way to uh, show a call to action you can show a message that talks about your business you can have people go to your uh, forms you can get email addresses get their numbers or show them your ads so this is a way to show the ads pretty cool yeah and i didn't know that you could actually download the book in pdf too which is good good knowledge all right so this was ai interactive books if you want to create an interactive book you can use this product and if you want to buy this product remember to get it only from me because here's the here's the clincher 
I'm going to give you high quality tools and bonuses that you can use in your business to take your own business forward. And I make the best tools in the industry. Not ashamed to say that. So check them out and you will find something that you can use in your business when you get AI interactive books. Get my software too. And let me know what you think of it. This is Cyril Jeet, your best friend in the business, signing off.